Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Brad over here at Chattanooga Fishing Fun. Here at Fishing Fun, we sell Ranger boats and Lance campers. We've got a beautiful day here to shoot a video. Only partly cloudy, sun shining bright like a diamond, and it's hot. So what better day to do a video than today? Our main star of the show today is going to be this 2023 Lance 2445. This is the perfect family size camper. It comes in at interior length of 24 foot 11 inches and overall 29.5. Gives you also 80 inches of interior height. So like I said, this is the perfect family size camper or if you like to take a couple with you on you know, your little camping trips or whatnot, you can do that as well. It's got a queen size bed in the front and then it's got large bunk beds in the rear that are rated for 250 pounds each. So that's pretty impressive as well. But uh, this camper right here, the 23 uh, Lance 2445, comes in weighing at 6,733 pounds, the way that this one's equipped. So your traditional half-ton trucks, the 150s, 1500s, should be enough truck to haul this camper here. If you want to be a little bit more on the safer side, you can up the truck model to a 250-2500 series. Then you'd have more than enough. Hitch weight on this uh 2445 is going to be around 605 pounds dry also i know everybody wants to know the price of these bad boys so we got the base price starting out at eighty nine thousand twenty four dollars with all of our factory options that are up here and we'll see them on the inside and outside as well and destination charge are going to have a grand total msrp of ninety nine thousand forty eight dollars and seventy five cents now, if you're interested in this camper, you can give me a call at 423-892-6272 and get the BSRP pricing. That's Brad's suggested retail pricing, and it's a heck of a lot better than that. So, uh, we're just going to start going over the inside of the camper here. All right, so here we are at the entry of the camper. This is a one-door entry camper, not a second door for the bedroom. But here in the back... You're gonna see your two massive rear bunk beds. This one is the lapis interior option. You have three interior colors to choose from, lapis being one of them. Then you have bronzite and grayson. So bronzite's gonna be like a brown trim color. Grayson's gonna be gray. And then lapis is this kind of midnight blue looking color. So your up top uh, bunk bed, Got you a nice opening window here on the side, curtains, a little bit of storage above the head, storage off to the right for cell phones, wallets, what, whatever. You have two USB outlets, a DC outlet, and one 10 outlet, and then a little mount for your portable JBL speaker. And then right here, you're going to see your 250 pound capacity. Got you a cute little ladder here to climb up to it as well. Here on the bottom bunk, it's uh, got pretty decent headroom. Like I said, another opening window, curtain, and a little pass-through door on the back. That's really cool, and I'll show you that on the outside. So the kids will probably have a ball with that, have their own little secret passage there. And just like up top, you have your little holster or holder on the side over there, light, USB and DC outlets, and the uh, 110 outlets as well. Underneath, you have these little tie-down points where you can strap down your belongings. It adds for a great amount of storage. Hope you can see that in the video. It's kind of dark down there. And then off to the side over here, they always give you extra screws. How nice of them. You got your little pocket door here. To the right of the bunk beds, you got a nice mirror so you can check yourself out. It's a really good sized bathroom. I was impressed with how big the bathroom is in this model. Got your porcelain toilet here, angled just right to give you the maximum amount of knee room when you're sitting on the john there. Uh, towel holder here, coat hanger. All your bath lights are behind this little doohickey. This right here is how you work your shower miser, a little instructional panel here. Put that off to the side. But as you can see, this is a really good size shower. And there's going to be your shower miser. This is utilized for saving water. I would have been a little bit more impressed if they would have put more 
you know uh, little shelves into the sides of these things like they do some of our truck campers and other model uh, trailers but as you can see here plenty of headroom and plenty of room in this shower so really good size and then you have like I said outside 80 inches of headroom as well we've got an opening window and of course it comes with day and night shades there's your day shades and then night shades and I'm really liking how far these windows kick out look at that easy peasy one hand you screw that till it tightens and there you go an actual usable window that lets in so much more air I can feel the wind now then we have an ow you got to watch out for your head on this railing though look at that uh, then you have another mirror right here and hidden behind the mirror a little medicine cabinet Fancy lighting above fancy sink bowl. I don't think they could get any more fancy with this do you? Plenty of storage underneath Put your shampoos and stuff down there while towing Toilet paper holster one tent 110 outlets over here on the side I'll leave that open here for now moving on we've got our uh, five cubic foot refrigerator here this is I believe a three-way fridge no that's incorrect it's a six cubic foot two-way fridge so it runs on propane and AC but it is a very good size fridge. Like I said, six cubic foot, and it is a separated fridge and freezer deal. So like I was saying over here when we were looking at the bunk beds, this is the Lapis interior option. You have Lapis, Bronzite, and Grayson to choose from. This also makes into a massive bed. I'll show you that here in a second. This, uh, is what you're going to use for your base that sits on these shelves you take this off put it down and use the cushions to fill it in to make a, a massive bed so you're going to have your two bunks in the back massive bed here and then your queen size in the front there that we'll get to here in a little bit I like the overhead lighting here it's all controlled on this little mood switch you can really set the mood in here with that and then just like in the back you have these day and night shades on every window and then they all pop out as well all right I'll go with, well let me show you these little pull-out drawers first so you don't sit here and yank on these you press this button in that unlocks it and then you pull it out be a great place to put your board games pots and pans towels all that good stuff all right, now we'll make this thing into a bed. Okay, so here you'll see I have this made into a bed now. On the website, it says that this is a 42 by 78 inch uh, convertible bed deal here. What you'll notice is all I did was take this pole out right here, take the tabletop, set it on them post, take this cushion that was used for the uh, U-shaped dinette, took it out, placed it underneath, and then took these end cushions here and here and put them in the center and that's how we got our convertible dinette bed i left the backing alone it's velcroed to the wall so no need to move that all right so that's put back where it goes literally takes maybe 30 seconds to make it into a bed and then make it back into a dinette so not that long at all i did have a uh, piece of paper injured in the process there whoops but uh, now we're over here in the kitchen area. It's literally right across from the dinette, but you know what I mean. We've got the uh, cabinetry up top. I believe they call this like Euro style. We've got some uh, storage over here. And then we've got our microwave just hiding out over here. It is an AC powered microwave. About your traditional size in a camper. Got our hood above the three burner stove top here. Nice backsplash. And they do make this grill removable. It easily just pops out. It makes it easy to clean underneath. And then we have our oven right below. 
and then it does have the self-igniting oven as well a little sparker built in down there okay so uh as you can see not a whole lot of countertop space to work with over here but you do have the dinette over here to work with if you wanted to place the prep food and then you know like me you can always cook outside as well if you wanted to if you're needing more countertop space you can move this utilize this right here since it has the sink covers also then it has a cover for the garbage can in the back there well i'll just give away what was below that i was going to make that a secret but doing the dishes or anything like that and wash your hands wash produce whatnot you do have this pretty massive sink in the uh, cutout here and then like i said if you were needing to use top space you just take these little cutouts and place it back in and then in the back here you have this little cutout that uh, protects the garbage can there pretty deep good size okay underneath as far as storage you have these soft closed doors they do not slam That'd be funny if I was trying to make an example of not slamming that, just slam. Then you have a little bit of storage underneath the sink as well. In the back you can see our on-demand tankless heater. We'll get to that on the outside. Then a little access port for everything. Alright, so moving further into the camper, you do have a nice size tv what size is that okay so that is a 32 inch smart tv it's already got the apps built in you don't have to carry like a roku stick or fire stick with you anymore to plug into the back of the tv it's got the apps already downloaded on it and you can download more and like i said it is on a swing out so you can unlatch it pull the tv out face it more towards the dinette get a little closer view and you can position it to where you can see it from the bunk beds back here as well so that's handy and then you just easily push it back into place until you hear that click and then it's locked in got a little bit of countertop space on top JBL sound system and then a nice fireplace to set the mood at night a little relaxing feature there below that you're gonna see that JBL subwoofer you can get to rocking in here well we've got us some uh, shelves built in i know that some people have removed that and made this like a closet uh, it's really whatever you want to do with it when you're spending you know close to 100 grand on a camper you do what you want with it all right so we've gone over everything in here all of our ac work is ducted got this right here and then throughout the camper you're going to see more back in here and then in the bedroom area as well it's got a truma venta air 15k btu unit on it uh, it's plenty for this camper right here and the ac unit also has a built-in dehumidifier and you're going to see the little sensor for it right up here okay so if you want to separate this off from you know the dining area at night time you gotta have maximum amount of strength to un undo that. Then you have this little door that slides between and locks it off from the rest of everybody. Here, let me see if I can do this from this side. Yeah. So if you're in the bedroom area, want a little bit of privacy, just slide that door there. And then you press this button in and press it back out. And then lock it back into place. And again, this takes brute strength. Stretch that thing out. There we go. Alright, here's our queen size bed. This bed does fold up. Just lifts right up. And then you have a good amount of storage underneath. There's our TV boxes. And everything else that Lance sends with these campers. Tucked right away. If you'll notice this little hole here on the side. It does have a locking mechanism. Where you don't have to worry about this thing popping up while you're traveling. Then you easily just push it back down. You're good to roll. Uh, your bedroom area. You have two 
closets on either side of the bed. Same over here. And then countertop space of equal size on both sides. AC plug-ins, USB outlets, DC outlet, same on this side. So if you're both CPAP users, you don't have to run cables behind the bed to reach one outlet. You've got them on both sides. And then there's your little detailed battery monitor. On both sides, you're gonna have this pull-out drawer. All the windows up here do open out, just like the one in the bathroom I showed you. And they all have the built-in day and night shades as well. Same on that side. Uh, in the bedroom area, you're gonna have your 24 inch smart TV made by Jensen. Uh, so like in the dining area, you have the built-in apps on this TV as well. A little shelf space, more cabinets, more shelves inside. pretty cool stuff and then one thing that I thought was really impressive about this unit was the size of this closet in this bedroom look at that plenty of space to put your shoes boots clothes everything I mean it, it's massive it's like almost the size of the bathroom look at this you could even hide a body in here if you wanted to but yeah really big shelf space in there or really big closet area that pretty much does it for the inside of this camper. Like I said, I mean, this is the perfect family size camper with all the uh, sleeping capacity it has in it, the two bunks in the back, this making it into a bed, and then your bed in the front, obviously, too. All right, made sure that my compartments are unlocked. We're ready to get on with the outside of the tour here. We've got our smart jack here on the front, and then we have three 20 pound propane tanks. You have two hooked up at all times there and then you have this little guy hanging out here on the side if one runs out you just take that black switch and swap it to the other one as long as you have gas like I said here on the hitch it's estimated you have about 605 pounds of tongue weight we'll start on this side here what I like to call the campground side we have our first battery compartment you're going to have one in the same exact location on the front of the other side as well they come out on slides just pull that out there and you got the little strap there to hold it in too move that door back and then it just locks into place right here we've got this massive sliding drawer goes all the way back in the back it is rated for up to 500 pounds check that out massive drawer and you can still reach everything even if it slides back there just easily slide it back and make sure it locks we also have a little folding table here supplied by Lance that's a standard feature and then our electric stabilizer jacks are controlled right in here everything's super easy to get to just extend and retract a little light for the front of the camper I'll show you that here in a minute and then we have our interior light for this compartment so this light switch here controls these lights on the nose of the camper. You got them on both sides. Down here, this is gonna be where you have access to drop your spare tire. You just crank that up or down. And then we have a external propane connection. Also on this side, like I said, all these windows pop out, but they are the double pane acrylic style windows. Some people love them, some people don't. I tend to love these. This is the model uh, or the uh, type of windows that I have on my Lance Enduro camper. They're so far more usable. Like uh, I had a 2021 Lance 975 truck camper before and they were the sleek glass. Aesthetically, they may look better, but they were far un more unusable than these windows. These kick out so much further, whereas the glass only come, in come out about four or five inches most and they let in a whole lot more airflow and natural lighting and stuff so i really like these some people say they scratch easier but i'd rather have a scratched window than a busted window and either is going to happen if you get up against a tree limb so 
we have this massive power side awning it does have the auto wind sensing added to it so if it gets too windy it's automatically going to roll itself back in the arms stay up high so you're not you know over here walking around banging your head into them nearly getting your head ripped off and then it's got a nice led light strip at the end of the awning too that really lights things up at night we have another little uh, mount for a portable jbl uh, speaker that comes with this camper we have our external hand warmer over here i'm just joking guys this is a kick out for the furnace but what I'm not joking about is in the winter time you got the furnace going inside this makes for an excellent hand warmer we've got this is where you're going to fill your fresh water tank your fresh water tank has a capacity of 45 gallons now I thought that they had a typo on this sheet when I was first reading it because it said 80 gallon for, or gray water capacity I was like there's no way but uh, this thing does have two 40 gallon gray tanks on it so that's a very nice feature eliminates having to go and dump every so often especially if you're not you know plugged into sewer so having four four or uh, two 40 gallon uh, gray tanks on this thing really makes a big difference so you've got your 45 gallon freshwater tank 80 gallon worth of gray water tanks and 40 gallons on the black water all right so this right here you've got two 110 outlets and in here you're going to see usb outlets and uh dc outlet that's for if you wanted to mount you an external tv right here so you'll have plugins whether you have a dc power tv or if you have an ac power tv you're going to have both your plugins here all right so this is new for 2023 along with all the other truma stuff they're doing so they collaborated with truma in 2023 and they presented us all new features for these new model campers we have the on-demand truma aqua go tankless heater uh, down is going to be gas up is ac from what i figured out on the previous campers that we've sold with this already but this is so neat it, it's literally instant hot water as long as you have it on of course and then you, you just don't run out of it it's an endless stream of it they're super easy to winterize I can do a separate video with that once you know time comes and we're getting into the cooler season all right we're sitting on a tandem axle trailer they swapped to leaf springs for the 2023 year and they are still wrapping them with the goodyear endurance tra or trailer tires so they put really good tires on here we don't want you to have a blowout not put no china bombs on anything made of by lance okay moving on so this trailer comes with the torque lift revolution glow steps they have these so you have this pin right here pull that out lift this up and pull and that's going to allow you to pull out these little scissor step styles glow steps at night time these stickers are going to glow and allow you to see where you're stepping super convenient these are four season rated. That's not an additional feature. That's the way that they come from the factory. They have a heated underbelly pan. So as long as you have the furnace going, you're gonna be supplying heat to all of your tanks and water lines. And we're certified green, go earth. There's our double windows. And then we have our little outdoor kitchen set up here. Nice little prep area right here. Get everything ready. Then you got your two burner cooktop and a sink to rinse everything off in. Well, I thought that was neat. You got a little pull-out door right here, too. Put all your utensils in there. Okay, so my camera conveniently just shut off because it said it was too hot. So uh, I believe we stopped here on the back of the camper. So on the back of the camper, you're going to see the backup camera up top. Uh, you do not have to be in reverse to use that. It's on at all times as long as you have your running lights on and uh, your monitor plugged into the truck or the dc outlet uh, here on the back bumper this is where you store your sewage pipe it says uh squeeze on it so you squeeze it to get it out and then you just push it back in Oops, whoops and then push it back in got us a little utility receiver here on the back 
those are good for bike racks and then this is that door that i was mentioning on the inside of the camper you can access the uh, first bunk bed or the bottom bed and then you can access your belongings that you strap down back here you have these little tie down points but yeah i'd get in a lot of trouble if i have one of these as a kid parents be looking for me all the time be escaping okay so here we are on the uh, driver's side this is going to be where all of your camper connections are uh, campground connections we've got our city water connection here or you can utilize the fresh water tank on board if uh, your you know campsite doesn't offer water which i haven't ever been to one that doesn't but if you're primitive camping or something like that that's where you would run into needing to pull off the fresh water tank we've got our outdoor shower for everybody that likes to give their fellow campers a show I'm only kidding, maybe. Uh, you can use it for rinsing off your feet, rinsing off utensils, the dog, whatever you want to. This is gonna be our black water flush. That's how you flush, uh, flush the black water tank. 30 amp connection right here. And parking satellite connections. You really gotta yank on that one. Below, you're gonna find that this is where the main dump is. Everything's tied to one dump, which is convenient. Like I said on this one, you have a total of 80 gallons of gray water capacity. One in the rear, one in the front. Pull both those handles, and then you have your body waste in the uh, center here. So the gray coated handles is going to be your gray tank. Black coated handle is going to be your uh, black water for the toilet. We've got an awesome amount of storage in this uh, side slide. Look at that. Being that this one has so much sleeping capacity, I reckon they think a lot of people's going with you. So you might need a little bit of storage, correct? And I like how all these have these little magnetic holders at the top to conveniently hold these up for you. We've got our second hand warmer over here. We'll kick out for the furnace. Below, that's where you're gonna be able to dump your fresh water tank. It goes straight out the bottom. We've got us a little wet box for our electrical cords. This right here is what they call the toy lock. You pull this out and you can lock down your bicycles, your kayaks, or whatever else you don't want somebody to use the five finger discount on. Why don't you just hate a thief? All right, so this one right here, you can see the perforated or ventilated door. That's gonna be so you can carry an onboard generator with you. Got your little straps for it and everything. And then our main battery disconnect switch is up there in the corner. And like I was saying on the other side, right here is gonna be your other battery uh, location. Take this little tab, pull it up, pull this out, and it slides right out right at you. And then it also just locks back into place easily. Okay, so I believe that is it. I think we hit everything okay everybody yeah i believe that's it today we looked at the 23 lance 2445 i hope you enjoyed the video and found it informative if you did go ahead and hit that thumbs up button lets youtube know that i might know what i'm talking about might be enjoyable to watch something like that anyways if you have any questions you can comment below or you can call me at 423-892-6272 my name's brad i'd love to help you whether it's on this camper or maybe another lance camper i'm here to help uh if you haven't subscribed already go ahead and do so join this fish and fun family we are right under 27,000 subscribers that's amazing guys and girls i never thought that we'd get that far so i really appreciate the uh, support and appreciate everybody watching even if you don't buy a camper from me um so like i said this was the 23 uh 2023 lance 2445 and this is the perfect family size camper it's got the uh, bunks in the back the dinette that makes into a bed and also the queen bed in the front this camper comes in weighing at 6733 pounds dry you add all your belongings uh, water to the fresh water tank propane everything you're going to be a little bit heavier than that and it has an estimated 600 and, oh wow 605 pounds uh dry hitch weight so like i said earlier in the video your 150s and 1500s should be enough truck to haul this 
if you want to be a little bit on the safer side you can go ahead and up up towards like a, a three three quarter ton 250 2500 or one ton 350 3500 series truck uh, this camper starts out at eighty nine thousand twenty four dollars with all the factory options up here and uh, destination charge your total msrp comes out to ninety nine thousand forty eight dollars and seventy five cents and like i said earlier that's the uh manufacturer suggested retail pricing call fish and fun me brad here today or tomorrow don't matter and get the bsrp pricing that's brad suggested retail pricing and i promise you it's a heck of a lot better than the uh manufacturers so we'll get you set up with a camper we'll get you set up right if i don't have what you want i can get it so uh, just let me know i'm here to help like i said and until next time, y'all take care, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one.